Welcome back to Live Action Star Wars. My name is James. I'm Ralph. And we are doing a bonus episode. It is 24 hours after we just did our last one. Uh, but right. a few, uh, literally, I think, what, two hours after we finished recording that? Something. Um, the the trailer for Obi-Wan dropped. I was at work, right. so we couldn't scramble and do it immediately like we would like to. Um, oh. So we are, we are here. It's For you guys, it's the next morning. Uh, for me, it's the next afternoon. Like uh, two days later? Yeah. I don't know how time zones work. Um, I, I don't know how time works. I'm I'm completely lost. This is my first day off in over a week, and I don't know where I am. <laughs> oh, so we can go for like... Oh, we can go. Goodness. Yeah, yeah. Um, good, because I have something to show, and this is going to probably be... I missed the opportunity to show this. I'm not much of a collector of stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, I barely have... You've seen my background. to have, like, a thing that I showcase each time, and there's mm -hmm. been doubles. Um, I did not show these the last two episodes that I did my picks. It's a pin. I do like pins. And I don't know if you can see this pin. Ah, you got mace. Little gold. It's a mace pin. That's great. It's so shiny that it's hard to focus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh but yeah, Left Coast Graphics, I believe, cool. made a mace pin. And it was cool because it was on like a the the card back for the mm -hmm. pin looked like a like a classic Kenner thing, and he just stood right that. there, but but I, I was going to say, he's posed like he's an old Kenner action figure. Yeah. Love it. I mean, is there a custom out there? That's got to be. Are there? There's got to be. <laughs> We're well, already off a topic. Black series, a oh, Black Mace. Series Mason Sindel 2-pack. I mean, make it happen. Or, no, or... it would be, I feel like it would be Mace and um, was, uh, one of the other Ewoks, and then Sindel and the, Wicked. No, Tuka Truck. Tuka Truck. Then... Mason Tuka Truck. They hate each other. Yeah. Yeah. Fett says the original Mace. Yes. OG. OG Mace. Yes. Uh, um, Mark Vibbert here. <laughs> <laughs> um, <Listen. laughs> yep. Uh, it wasn't said really, in the trailer, it, though. It wasn't? They they did start their Twitter feed with yeah. hello there. Uh, there. Yeah, I'm fine it was trending. It. Yeah. I mentioned yesterday it was trending. Yeah, you're fine with it. Uh, Sarah's <laughs> here. Stevie's here, and um, Fetz Sarah there. only wants to talk about Luke today. Maybe we'll okay. get to him. All right, a uh, little Luke doing his dance. I'm doing hoping the whip and the if for some reason Disney pulls this down the slide feed, um, let us know. <laughs> I, don't I don't know how we get back up. I don't think they will. I've see, I've stayed away from watching like because we're, we're, we're pretty late to this party, um, yeah. but. I've stayed away from watching any other videos of people reacting to it. Like I've seen stuff on Twitter. I've seen stuff online, but I haven't watched anyone's breakdowns of the trailers or anything like that. I've tried to stay away because I like, I want to do ours first and then I'll watch everyone else's. Um, oh, I watched, I watched a couple. Okay, cool. I don't think, I don't think there's anything that I didn't already notice. Yeah. Yeah, but, I'm sure that but, that's the case. I've I watched it a few times. Um, Jeremy Kelly's in the chat. He uh, suggested our next pick, your next pick. Yes, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not sure if you were there yesterday watching Jeremy, but yeah, thank you for your pick. Uh, we'll get to that in two weeks' time. Looking forward to it. Yeah. And Derp Gaming. There we go. Um, All right. So I'm yeah, we, we talked. Open. I mean, we we talked about the the photos that we were going to do them on the data link, but we could oh, do them on. This? We could do that on this as well, um, or we could save them. What I mean, what what is there? Uh, there's nothing. The thing is, the photos are just like pictures of you and McGregor, which we've seen. Yeah. We know what he looks like, and we as soon as you get one picture of him, that's you kind of get the you, sense. You of see the look. He, I yeah. think it's things like um, um, him in his cave, like doing his his. Jesus right. in a cave look sort of thing. Like, and a lot of um, a lot of the pictures are all stuff from this trailer too. I think um, that's the thing. Like the new Inquisitor. Yeah. Uh and then um we've got Fifth Brother, I think, is one of the Inquisitors who's from Rebels. Okay. Um that's the one played by uh Han from the Fast and Furious movies. Right. Um and Sun, then we've got Sun King. Sun King, yeah. Uh and then the Grand Inquisitor and his regular shaped head. <laughs> but we'll get to it. We'll get to it. We'll watch the trailer. Let's get into it. Let's, Let's get into it. Um, again, let us know if this thing gets pulled down. Mm -hmm. um, let us do this. 
There we go. And it's going to just play automatically. That's the nature of this. But I can pause it. Yeah. And start and stop. We'll just go shot by shot. Mm -hmm. Tatooine, two sons, assuming. Yeah. Everyone in his EOP. Okay. I like this. <laughs> This is the first like interesting shot, like so that's cool. Like we've got Obi Wan walking through town. Um, Obi looks good too. It does. It looks it's, really good. It's like, funny. I watched. I rewatched episode one recently, and it looks uh -huh. very CG, especially yeah. the the ass shot after he yeah. farts. It's um, the turnaround of the head. Like yeah. it's funny, isn't it? Because when you see this, it's the same with when you ever you see old CG. You think, okay, cool, yeah, that's how it looked before. But then it's only when you go back and go, oh, actually, it looked trash compared to this um right. it's like looking at toy story one yeah exactly um yeah. it's it's memories memories the key or old video games when you go back and play old yeah. video games there's something behind the aop's leg and let me see if i can see it because i swear it was teak <laughs> no it's like teak's pelts you just got teak on the brain look at, um, look i mean at that. maybe look maybe like the, the teak's body or something yeah uh, it might be. It might be a, a skinned teak. Maybe that's why he's all alone, because <laughs> his family are food. Fett says that Iopi better be farting. I, I mean, I, I feel I, like a lot of the new Disney era is trying to right the wrongs yeah. of Lucas. Uh, maybe the farting Iopi wasn't one of the best decisions made. Yeah, probably not. During probably George's not. run. So probably won't get it. But We'll see. We'll see. Do you I think, think this I, is? I, do you think this is Moss Eisley? Ah, uh, sure. I think. I think. Maybe. I think it's most likely Obi Wan seemed familiar with Moss Eisley, um, right. in A New he's, Hope. He's but never set it, foot in Moss Espa, as far as we know. Well, no, he was on the outskirts, wasn't he? He was. Yeah. 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 Um, he stayed on the ship. Uh, so yeah, yeah, I mean, it could be. Uh, it could be Anchorhead. Um, <laughs> could be anywhere. I think right. it probably is more sizely though, based on something that we see later on. Yeah. Um, Jeremy says, does Jar Jar return to Tatooine? Probably not. Probably not, probably but not. we can hope. Uh, we're um, we're hoping that he's at uh, Dex's. Yeah. I feel like he can't show his face back on Naboo, even no. though that's the last place we saw him for the and, funeral. And the last um, place that he's been seen canonically. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> I think he's. I think he's at this point. I think he's drinking himself into a stupor somewhere. He's. He's I'm at. Hoping maybe. May, I mean, maybe at Dex is maybe at the, um, the cantina or something. Like he could just be in a corner. Oh my god! Can you imagine Jar Jar in the cantina? Sad, drunk Jar Jar. Like way in the back, just like oh man. Yeah, but I mean, like, I can like. Prequel George and original trilogy George stuff in the same mm. thing. Good. Even though I didn't like it when the when the Doug was in Jabba's palace, like, <laughs> yeah, why is he? Why it's too much? <laughs> um, you like this, this is part. this is the interesting thing because this really does look to me like he's gone and got himself a job. These people look cuffed. I mean, it it looks like they're the way that they're walking in a line as well. Like it does look like a, a service you'd line, but. I don't know. Are they I... all are they all Boba Fett's starship? <laughs> they might be Boba Fett's starships. I don't think so though. I think they are just I think it's just gonna be a worker line. And they're maybe like they look, going up for they their all look like they're handcuffed though. Fight is done. I don't know, man. Is that a handcuff? No, I think that's the back of the, the like the awning. No, because this one, like they're, they're moving their, their hands around. The fight is oh done. yeah, I guess so. I think it's. I can see the one where it looks like there's a chain between there, um, but I think that's just the back of that awning or something that he's holding. Folks, so so folks on the internet were very excited about the hair flop, the <laughs> okay. hair hanging over his head like in like in Clone Wars. It does look good. Because yeah, but yeah. I wonder. It's it's, a, it's like a conveyor belt. Yeah. I mean, I think it's action. just... Is it some other arty thing we know about? Or is he, like, stripping parts like Ray sort of thing, like stripping scrap, um, like uh, working for his portions? Um, right. Could be. Could just be, yeah, working for portions. 
because we get a shot of him. It's just done. Bit. Okay, I don't see any butthole on that thing. I don't know if we're gonna get it. <laughs> butthole watch twenty twenty two. Um. Um. Yeah. Uh, if you want, here you can bring this up. Um, Jeremy says it looks like a soup line to him. Yeah, I could see it. I could see that. Um, I mean, more desert. Is this the Junlin Waste? Are we going to get a name drop? Of the the Dunes, Waste? Yeah, I, I would be shocked if we don't hear about the Junlin Waste. Have we? Was where was um where was C three PO when he saw the crate dragon? I always assume that was the Dune Sea. Um, I feel like the Dune Sea is like just a va- like basically like just the vast areas of sand where there's no. Like no rocky outcroppings, no settlements, no nothing. Like I feel like most of that, I've always just sort of, sort of assumed that the Dune Sea is just this wide thing that's all encompassing. Like I, I'm kind of on board with seeing a lot of these places that have been name dropped: mm. Anchorhead, Junlin Wastes. Uh, well, Junlin Wastes is where where Ben picked up Luke and the droids. Okay, like because he's like the Junlin Wastes are no place for. That's you know, right. Whatever. I got it. So got I feel it. like that's, that's right. that sort of area is the Jungle West. And I believe, according to like some old books that had like breakdowns of maps and stuff, like his his house is like just on the outskirts, like just on the edge of the Jungle West. Do you think we'll get a training montage with him learning how to do a crate dragon yell? <laughs> no. <laughs> I but don't. I mean, I think what would be great if they did do that, use both versions. Like as yeah. he's trying to learn it, use both versions. So no matter what version of Star Wars you watch, you get the old, you get the new. Yeah, yeah. I'd be fine with that, and like, it would be nice to see. Like, like I don't know when we saw this crate dragon, it would have been cool if we got a different vocal okay. range. So I, I would, I would like to see a crate dragon that's more along the lines of the bones we saw. Yeah. So like a smaller version. Mm-hmm. But. uh um sorry um okay. and have him watching and hearing it make the sounds mm-hmm. or seeing it scare off some see it scaring off some uh tuscans or something like that because we know that and he's not he going to need... be too fond of the tuscans like we've had a big redemption arc for tuscans but in this i don't think he's going to be super chill with them yeah yeah if they show up at all we lost By the way, they started off this trailer. Not a lot of people have mentioned it. They're only talking about Duel of the Fates. Some people are mentioning Battle of the Heroes. This starts with Battle of the Heroes. Yeah. Starts with Battle of the Heroes, goes into Duel yeah. of the Fates, goes through a couple of but, other themes. Like there's an a Ahsoka new rendition theme of there. it too. Yeah. There's an Ahsoka theme in there and then sort of back to Battle of the Heroes as well. Yeah. I don't even know what the Ahsoka theme is. Um, Ahsoka's Dark Deeds. I think it's from one of her last Clone Wars episodes. Okay, I'll have um, to look that up because I like, I didn't that's... hear it, but I saw people talking about it. It's a big it's a big blind spot for me as far as music goes. Is yeah. the Kevin Kiner scores for the animated series? I was rewatch. I've been rewatching Rebels. I'm on like on episode four or something, right. but he essentially just uses John Williams cues yeah. and does it in. I don't think they're using full orchestras. I think he uses, they're using like synthesized that instruments and stuff. It would make sense. Um, but nowadays it's like, let's, let's do this. I, I agree with Fetz here. I, I think this is in regards to the, um, the crate dragon call. It's like, no way. Don't need to explain everything. Um, I need, but... I need a Rodian to run. I need <laughs> a Rodian to run up to the crate dragon and say, you better watch yourself. You're going to end up dying out here. <laughs> Like Greedo. Yeah. All right. So okay, so is that the homestead in the background? Is this? I these believe shots? so. Like when I've seen this, like on a big screen, that like you can make it out a little bit better. This is like the preceding shot to where he's looking through the binoculars. Um, if if he's doing this a lot, it's no a bit creepy. Why, yeah, no wonder why. Luke but also, like, it's one movie. of those things, isn't it? We've seen the homestead from a few different angles. Never seen these rocks before, but I'm mm. fine with it. I don't care. It's It makes sense that he'd want to stay care. around. He'd hang out on the outskirts. Um, 
it this is very reminiscent i think of luke on uh acto and right. his his rocky outcrop um yeah. it's yeah it reminds me a lot of that he's got a bag full of stuff and on the yeah he's got his on bag on the and, then... and he's got his flask so he's clearly like gonna spend some time there he's like a train spotter Sure. <laughs> Sir McGregor. I haven't seen it. I'm assuming that's He's, what that. They, is. That's no, what they, they do. do. They literally no. sit there and watch trains. No. <laughs> oh. There's one train in the entire movie, and it drops them off. The sequel they... should have been called Trains Spotter. <laughs> that sounds a bit too close to Transporter. <laughs> Ooh, Jason Statham in Train Spotter. <laughs> Jason Statham shooting up heroin. <laughs> Doesn't don't they jump in a toilet? That's all. I, I don't know much. <laughs> it's a great movie. You should check it out. <laughs> I probably should. All right, hold on. We're gonna do a couple of pauses here. Uh, good great. to see the the binocular view. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I forget what they're called in, in universe. Oh, they're not binoculars, but we got Uncle Owen and Peru. Yep, both and, of them. Uh, uh, Baru coming I, out of the house. Owen there. Uh, and then, yeah, Luke hopping up onto the, the archway of the homestead. Okay, so, like, we all were questioning, will they show Luke? How are they going to do it? And then... Um, I'm really they're glad. Like, they're just like, here, it's in the trailer. I'm really glad. Uh-oh, Uh-oh Sarah. Here we go. I gasped so loud when <laughs> in my office at this part. <laughs> um, I mean... It's It's great. weird. It's weird. But it's weird. We saw him. We saw him in Rebels, like a from a distance, barely, a way, way, way distance. Um, and, and in that, uh, don't they? They use the old bit of dialogue from Aunt Beru, I believe, yeah. of her calling to yeah. him, and they just use the old audio. So this is a this is a, a yet another actor playing Luke, mm-hmm. unless they put Mark Hamill's face. <laughs> if they do something, I'm I'm kind of hoping like this is all we see. I mean, how much? I don't know. I like, we, don't. How much? I so said I've got theories. I've got theories that this, this is how it starts. So it's not you're not going to get the opening that you expect or wanted with them starting with the fight. I think it's going to be a case of Ben has been hanging out on Tatooine, but then has to leave. Is gone for most of the series, mm-hmm. and then comes back but doesn't doesn't really like announce himself i, I so still that's feel why like I think vader owen thinks that he must be dead by now like he's gone like he's not around anymore yeah i feel like vader's still the reason why he I, needs to keep an eye on luke oh uh, yeah i mean i feel like all of it i feel like his his the next shot that we see when it cuts back to um ben or obi-wan yeah. Is when he's he's looking at the kid and he's seeing him essentially be a lot like his father. Yeah. At that age. And I was thinking. Like, I was thinking, what if this is the kid that played the baby Luke in Revenge of the Sith? I think but that kid's gonna be that, that, that baby's gonna be like, too old. Yeah, the kid's like what? Twenty nearly. Eighteen? Yeah, something around there. Yeah, eighteen. Seventeen, so. eighteen? Yeah, definitely. actual Luke's age. It's crazy though to think that Luke Skywalker is now the character who's been in every TV series. He was in Mandalorian. He was in Boba Fett, and now he's in Obi Wan. Um, it's weird. The, the Skywalker saga. Is kind and he of, made it into Rebels. He made it into Rebels. He's yeah, not in the Clone Wars, obviously, but Anakin's there. Right. So yeah. Well, do we get any? Do we get pregnant? Padme in the sees the final season of Clone Wars via hologram, yeah. But technically, Luke's there. Yeah, yeah. Oh. In utero. Right. What do you think of this kid? People are saying his hair's too dark, but I mean, oh, if you look on. at the lighting, if yeah. you look at the lighting in in like there's that that shot, that classic production shot of Luke on Tatooine with his hair kind of mm-hmm. whispering across his face. That's the color his hair is. Yeah, and people also think of kids, him as blonde. Kids' hairs changes when they're young. Like, yeah. The goggles, Anakin esque. Cool. It's very Anakin. Like he's he's just playing, and he's he wants to be a pilot. He's big imagination. Do you think, do you think we'll get lines 
from Luke? I think we will <laughs> briefly. I think I think we are going to see Luke. I'm like, curious to see. Like right now, it's hard to tell, but I'm wondering if we see the goggles off and they do some sort of digital thing to make him look like it. I don't think so. I hope it's a slight thing. I don't think you need to stay. (laughs) And then the meme shot, as it has become within a within less than twenty four hours. I'm not a meme dude, but I did the one. I did the one meme. There's there's been some fun ones of 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 him looking at the the three PO boner. This is the first best, like the first real shot of it where he's on his own. He could be wearing whatever he wants. I like that he's not wearing his what we now know as Jedi robes. Right. Um, right. It's which, it... which for me helps like he's, this is it. This is the time to go insert myself back into Luke's life. I will yeah. put on my Jedi robes. Yes, and, that's it. And, and that's exactly what I feel like it's, it's retroactive. Sure. Because everyone was wearing yeah. what looked like Jedi robes in. <laughs> yeah, like glowing. Exactly. Like, and yeah. I think it would have been better. We've talked about it in our Return of the Jedi episodes and things like that. I think it would have been better if Jedi robes hadn't been what those were, but yeah. they are. So we deal with it. Um, I like now that, yeah, much like Luke wearing his his like his whites in the Last Jedi and then changing yeah. back into his like his rugged ones. Like this yeah. is his undercover now. And then when yeah. he puts on those robes, it's as you said, that's when he's like. He the force be, is calling to me. Now it's the time that he could be. Yeah, he could be in his homestead mm-hmm. in the Jenlin Waste, <laughs> and he could be Luke's in trouble. Yeah, and then he gets, he a, puts he gets on a force the force called. And I wouldn't mind seeing that scene at the very end of this. Um, Post credits. I don't. And I don't know. Do the face. Do the face. Maybe. Get the as good as look, Luke. Luke looked in Mand or in a uh, book of Boba Fett. That's Let's when you want your, the deep fake up, up, yeah. like up aging. Yeah. Okay. He just could be in there and say, Luke is in trouble. See the other side of the, the sand people thing. Then is, him put on the ropes. Is the it going to be, is it, is it him who feels it? Or is he being told that by, you know, possibly an old master or someone who he's communing well, with? Well, the whole thing that at the beginning of this, it says we lost. And the whole thing, the whole reason why the Jedi lost is because they were sort of, their their visions were clouded. Mm. The Sith were too strong. He's lost his mojo. Mm. Oh, And definitely. I think I think at the end of this, when we get to the Genlin Waste, when he puts the robes back on, that's him getting his yeah, mojo I'm back. I'm ready to go again. Sense. Like yeah. the like, there's a disturbance in the force. Our their only hope to defeat Vader is just is it's him. It's him. Like answering the call. It's like to go back yeah. to the old hero's journey sort of thing. It's it's, but it's him answering the call. It, like he's the hero in that bit of the journey yeah. sort of thing. Um, yeah. and do yeah. you think? I mean, do you think we'll get a season two, or do you think this is it? I'm hoping I mean, this it, is it. I'm I'm hoping that this is it. It is listed as a limited series. Uh, I feel like all intentions at the moment is this is it. But you so never know. I'm, I'm 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 if this is it, I am hoping that this just bridges the gap between episode three and episode four, mm-hmm. as far as Obi Wan's as far as Obi Wan goes. So you want it to and, span that that time? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I don't. I don't need it to. I. I. I think. Like it doesn't have to be like Forrest Gump. It just needs to be like. Uh, this is where Obi Wan is. We. Mm-hmm. We. We've seen Rebels. Yeah. We know all about the Inquisitors. We know what's been going on with the Jedi as far as. Um, by the time we get to Row One, mm-hmm. we know all this stuff. But what's Obi Wan been up to? So as soon as we see the Inquisitors, we're like, okay, it puts it in this timeline, and then. But I want it to end with. Luke's in trouble. Put on my robes. I look like Alec Guinness. It, so, I mean, I feel like it's not the only time that he's put on his robes, though, because he is wearing those robes when he fights Maul in the desert. So I feel like it is something that he's like, when I need to become the Jedi again. Right. Um, right. Which is is cool. So, I like, there's so many people say, like saying that they need to see the Maul fight. 
if we see them all fight, I think it is an absolute colossal waste of this show. Um, yeah. The mall fight is perfect as it is. You don't right. need to see it again. And to just insert that into this story that is clearly not going to be dealing with any of that, it's just going to waste screen time for telling this story. This right. story needs to tell this story, and that's great. You want the mall stuff? It's there. It's in Rebels. Go watch it in Rebels. Right. I checked IMDb, and I want to say Deborah Chow directed all of them. Uh, yeah, she's, she's, I believe... Like I mean, she's show running and I think is the the director of all of these. She did some really good right. episodes of Mandalorian. She did, she's great. and and she, uh, I, I like that. There's going to be a singular vision on this. Mm -hmm. I do. It's not a group of directors, and it, with her being the only director, it sounds like it's going to be one story, a cohesive, and, concise yeah, story. And I, I think that's, so. I think that's a really good shout for this. I feel like I, that I feel is like part of what appealed to you in coming back for it as well yeah yeah i i just feel like i miss that cohesiveness in mm. the other two series mm. Hidden. this is the picture everyone's using for the thumbnail art on youtube because yep. like this is the only like clear shot of him this in the very end isn't it yeah and the, but in the very end it's such a a, yeah. a, a weird angle that it's yeah. hard to really get it gets so tight on him, so he looks great. Like yeah. he's 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 so good as Obi Wan. Yeah. He needs to start losing his hair. I mean, he needs it's to get gonna that be it's, it's stressful. Like he's he's got a bit of gray around the temples and stuff, but it's gonna start coming in. Um, yeah. what's when's the rebels fight? That's a few years still. Like that's sort of halfway in between this and uh, that, yeah. and he looks more like Alleganis there, but. Again, animation, yeah. so you can take some liberties. <laughs> no, no, the animation <laughs> is, needs to look the exactly look. like the live action. Let's see what else we got here. Mm. There it is. It's the hype. The title gets Thanos, Thanos snapped. Yep, it's great. But it the fact cool. that they show the so they show the sand, right? Which leads you to believe, okay, this is going to take place on Tatooine, but. And straight away, yeah. away from it. Yeah, here's the opposite. Here we go. Yeah. Water. I love that ship. Jedi. You know that ship? I you no, know I don't think oh. we've seen it, but it is very reminiscent of. Like my first thought was, it looks a lot like the Knights of Ren's shuttle. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, but it is also like it. It just like you see that, and I you instantly know that it's the Inquisitors. I do anyway. I like, thought it was it, the Batman at first. I mean, yeah, <laughs> like, it is know. very Batman. It is very Batman. Um, but yeah, but this whole thing. Let's, let's just go ahead and shot a little bit. To hunting Jedi. Okay. So this thing reminds me of Exegol and it, and the other planet from uh, the Endor system. Oh, oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it has. So Shades of that. This we've seen this before. Uh, this is in um, Jedi Fallen right. Order. Oh, um, this is. I think it's. I think the planet is Nur. Something is or something like that. It's a weird name. Right. Um, but this is yeah. This is Fortress Inquisitorius or something. This is the the Inquisitors' base. It, I think it's really cool looking. It's wicked, and most of it is underwater. So like this yes, is the which we see, then... which we see in the in a little bit. Uh -huh. A bunch of it gets um, flooded out in uh, Fallen Order, but right. that is it's that. just a section. It's a really good story. Just play it on easy, man. Just just drop the difficulty yeah. right down and play it for the story. It's so so worth your time. It's a really cool story. Yeah, Fett says he's so uh, glad to get off Tatooine or mm -hmm. get the fuck off Tatooine. Um, I, I mean, yeah, that's the problem I think with the previous two shows mm. is like. Obi Wan should have staked claim to Tatooine, and Mandalorian should have just been a different it. place. Mm -hmm. But I mean, at the time of Mandalorian, that was like launched with Disney Plus. Who knew what was going to happen? With exactly, it was they um, they were playing with their toys, and Tatooine's a and really then, cool place. And then with Boba Fett, yeah, he kind of has his stake to Tatooine as well. Yeah. So it go it's on. rough. On the, I'm glad, on the I, I'm glad right? to see other places. Yeah, I am definitely, definitely. And places like this as well, which we they exist in canon, but they've not been seen in live action before. It's it's very, very cool. 
Um, yeah. I'm just noticing it now. On the right-hand side of that landing platform, mm -hmm. uh, it looks like, is that going to be their, some of their tie advances? Like their... I can't tell. They look like three shuttles. They, they might be a bit too small. I can't really see tell. see how close the shot gets. Oh. Not very. Yeah, these controls are right. So I yeah I love this shuttle I like that they've got something that isn't just a fighter, um, but it's I I think it's cool and I I like them using the version of oh. the tie advance. Are you talking about the things hanging? No no oh they they those things look hanging like definitely look like tie fighters they on the left. They definitely look like tie fighters. I'm guessing yeah. that's for the the troopers. Yeah. Uh, no, I was thinking about the ones actually like on the deck. The white ones on the right. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, possibly. Don't know. But yeah, we've seen this ship in concept it's art. It's, it's cool. Okay. Our so, first look at the Grand Inquisitor. Right. My first question before we get into this, where is he? Tatooine, I think. Is that Tatooine? Looks like Tatooine. Looks like a cantina of some sort. That looks definitely Tatooine in the background. And oh, then and we've got the Sun, Sun Kang there as well. Fifth brother, I think it is. Yeah. Um, yeah. I so think so. The, now, I know these guys from Rebels. Um, Sarah Michelle Geller was one. She was. Uh, would love to see her show up. That'd be really cool. And I know people and... would be up in arms because they'd be like, well, why is Sarah Michelle Geller but not Ashley Eckstein? Or uh, Jason Isaacs. Or, you know, it's like, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Um, now, if we do get her. Do we get Kanan? Because oh, I, mean, I would be. They, they. I feel like they come as a package. They're both big nerds who love being in this stuff. Right. Um. Can you picture Freddie Prince Jr. as Kanan in live action? I can. Yeah. I I really can. Um. And I. He was set up in Bad Batch. Mm. I don't think we will. Uh, Not in this. I think if we're going to see anything for them, it would be like a flashback in Ahsoka. Um, but maybe, maybe we get a Sarah Michelle would, Geller cameo. This is what I would like. A uh, hollow transmission from Freddie Prince Jr. as Kanan to set up his character if they need to bring him in something else. Interesting. I don't, I don't remember where we left off on Rebels. <laughs> So in Rebels, no, did but he, at the did start, he, did he make it? Did he make it through the end? Oh no, no, no. Yeah, I don't, I don't. I don't oh no, 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 no. He definitely. So he wouldn't be in Ahsoka. He wouldn't be in Ahsoka, no, but um, not as a, a living being anyway. But I mean, he's at so the I end of Rise like, of Skywalker. Just, I, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of fan service and doing things just for fan service. No. But if there's something in this story that requires Obi Wan to reach out via hologram message mm -hmm. and get the status of what's going on elsewhere in the galaxy and it needs to be another Jedi mm. that I think that would be great but Kanan I don't want him to show up very I much want him to not... show up just because he's cool like Kanan is not a Jedi at this point like he is I mean he was only ever he never made it to a, like a Jedi Knight he was only ever a Padawan um and he but, was fully, fully in hiding until, again, that call to action was Ezra coming into his life was what right. made him put his lightsaber back together and, like, reveal himself. Wait, do you... I, I always assumed his lightsaber came apart just so he can not look like he's carrying a lightsaber. I think that is the case, but I don't think he made a but point I feel of... Like he's, I feel like he should still be in touch with other Jedi. I don't think he is. You like he's so? got he's got the holocron that has a mess he it is the signal like the the warning signal from Obi-Wan the stay away yeah. from Coruscant one. Um yeah. but I don't think he's been in contact with any. I really don't. Okay. I think he has been keeping his head low and building up his life and his crew. Okay. We'll see. I I kind of if, if there's any sort of Oh, cool cameo! It would mm. be that. It would be cool, but I don't think it's. I like Rebels so much. Yeah, and I like him as Kanan, and he loves being in this. Like he's him talking yeah. about Star Wars is is lovely to hear. Right, right. Okay, 
Okay. Thoughts? It's but the thing is, it's like here's the deal. I've seen this character in Rebels. Yep. And he definitely has the longer, like, sort of Utapau head. Yeah, the um, power. In, yeah. In that, yeah. And my thing with this is, it's so round. He does have a it, very it, round it, skull. No, I'm not familiar with the actor. Um, Rupert Friend. He's yeah. Yeah. Um, he's he's one of these. He's another British actor, quite Shakespearean sort of type. He's been yeah. in a bunch of stuff. I'd need to look up exactly what I've seen him in, but I definitely know the name. Is his head so round? Or, or <laughs> it looks like they extra rounded I, it. I don't think they extra rounded it. Um, I think I think that is just his head. Here's here's the thing. I mean, yesterday this Obi Wan trailer dropped and people went nuts, like absolutely nuts. But then the nitpicking started happening. Uh, <laughs> and within, this was like within a minute. This was the big one. Yeah. This was the big one. Was the head shape. And I get it. I know it doesn't look like this character you know and love, but at the same time, the the, the animated stuff is so stylized. Mm. It's so stylized. And it's just, that's how it's going to be. It's the classic. They show people the Dooku head and then Christopher <laughs> Lee's head altered to look like Stretched the out. animated version. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I saw someone had gone in and they'd tinkered with it and they tinkered with the video and they had they'd taken this exact shot and they had made his head just a little bit longer and it did look great. I'm not going to yeah. lie. It, it looked really good. I don't really have a problem with this. I think I, I said yeah. it, um, friend of the show, Adam Frazier was tweeting about it and he was sort of <laughs> saying like, when you put makeup on an actor that looks like this, you get this. When you put actor on an yeah, actor Bruce that Spence. looks like this. Yeah. The Bruce Spence. Um, and I, I completely agree with you. Humans come in different shapes and sizes. Powans probably come in different shapes and sizes. They have these, like, a distinctive look to them. They aren't human. But I I quite like the biodiversity of species that we're getting. We've seen Gamorians yeah. of different shapes and sizes. We've seen Twi'leks of different shapes and sizes. We've seen all sorts of diversity amongst alien species that we've never seen before in Star Wars in the last... Well, in these TV shows, and I'm here for it. Right. The only difference with this one is that we have seen this character. Yes, it's animation, and I agree completely. And we've seen but, a live action version of this species. Th- that's that the looks, key as well. That like, looks that, like the animation, and it wasn't just the one. We saw a few of them, and they all had yeah. that stretched out head. So that's that's fine. But this guy we know from Rebels. He was a Jedi for a long time. He was one of the the, the guards like at the temple so mm. who knows maybe being off world might be a gravity issue maybe his head shrunk yeah. down or something um <laughs> i don't really have a problem with it um i think the eyes should be darker and then like more pointed with the like the redness i think that would be cool um again pointed out by adam Fraser. um it doesn't need to be as over the top or as distinct as they are like that in mm. rebels but I'm I think I if am anybody's, completely if you, withholding like any criticism until we see more than like two shots of it. <laughs> right. right. But in general, I'm fine. Jedi. Okay. So he, this is Tatooine. Tatooine the trains. City, the, the city back there with mm. uh, with the tower. That tower doesn't doesn't look like the tower in Mos Espa. No, that, that is, is it that Anchorhead? Point. Is this finally Anchorhead? It could be Anchorhead, or it could be um, Mos Eisley. We just never saw this long, big, tall tower. The tower reminds me of Rebels. <laughs> it reminds me of um, Ezra's, Ezra's home. tower. Yeah, um, like it's cool, and I like that as a, a thing. Yeah. This, the fact so that maybe he's it, having maybe to it get comes train, down. Maybe, maybe. maybe uh, oh, yeah, down. I mean, it looks like there's going to be some down. some fights with some. Uh, inquisitors and stuff the fact that we see obi-wan here on this train it cannot help what... here um yeah i makes me think that yes they are going into town and so he does live out wherever he's living and he has to get on mm-hmm. some public transport it's a bit too far for his eop because we know that luke and the lars homestead is further away from Mos Eisley. luke can take him as far right. as anchorhead 
and then he can get a transport to Mos Eisley or wherever he's going. So I feel like that means that it's it's a little bit too far to go by EOP. So he's got to get on some public transport, maybe from Anchorhead. Right. Um, there's an alien, two mm-hmm. people to his right. Yep. I don't I don't know if I know what that alien is. It looks like Alice the Goon from Popeye. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I don't Jeep. recognize it. It might be one of the... It looks like something from Mandalorian. Like It reminds me a little bit of um, Fish Lady, but it's not the same species, but same sort yeah. of feel to it. And then cool. up against the door looks like a, a two tubes. Uh, what's his name? Oh, uh, yeah, it does a bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's oh. hard to... All right. Here we go. So now we're underwater. Under, underwater in Fortress That's so cool. I think this looks awesome. Uh, classic stormtroopers. Yep. Just as guards. Nice. Totally unnecessary yeah. when you've got like three badasses sat around this table. So who do we have here? We have the new the new Inquisitor. I don't know who. Like the lead Inquisitor. Uh, Reaver, and then I believe, this one she's here, been named. Do they all have the spinning blades? They've all got the rounded hill. I don't know if they all do the spin. Okay. Um, so this is probably all... Sun King. Yeah, that's fifth brother. And then, and then the unknown. The one is. Yeah, the unknown one who is pretty new. Uh, a lot of people thought it was the same species as Ali Gallia from the Jedi Council and stuff, but it's not. Right. She doesn't have the, the tendrils. It's more just like a weird like horn things coming out the back of her head. Because we see her briefly yeah. later on. It's cool. The the chair like in the middle of the, the desk obviously being reserved for vader i'd say or um, the grand inquisitor grand inquisitor maybe is. but like the fact that vader you is... think vader has time to come down here no and that's the thing i think they leave the chair open for him always like it's it's his spot right i mean it's it does like, look like it's his, like the his castle yeah and he is like the, the the head of the inquisitors really is they report to vader um, so I think it's going to be like a small council thing from Game of Thrones where like the king is never at the meetings, but his seat is always there. I do like looking out the window and not seeing space. It's cool. It's, it's very cool. This, we see some stuff. Might be a through. first. Do we not see any in Utspau? Not in live action, Utspau, do we? No. 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 Not Utspau. Um, Camino. Camino? No. I don't no. think so. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. as Fett said, got to, got to have the villain boardroom. Love it. It looks great. I really like it. I mean, it. there's there's not many chairs around that table, so it makes me think that either they've got breakout rooms or like they they never expect all of the Inquisitors to be there at one time because they've got to be yeah. off scouring the galaxy for Jedi. Man, those those stormtroopers stormtroopers are striking against all that black. They really, really are cool looking. I like it. So we know from Rebels that Fifth Brother is around later so he's going to survive this same as the grand inquisitor all of these other inquisitors are up for grabs so i feel yeah. like they seem to be put into teams like they do seem to be like broken out into different squads like um fallen order has like three i think two or three inquisitors who seem to work out together um and then the rebels we got a few different teams of inquisitors so at the moment it feels like these three are the ones reporting to uh, the Grand Inquisitor directly. Right. Their compassion. Oh. There's this one. Yeah. Yeah. Has um, is that a Jedi? I based I, on. Yeah, based on everything based else on that the we've dialogue, seen yeah. and the the clips and stuff. Like, I think it is. I think they have they've tracked a Jedi to Tatooine. Well, if you look at the the Inquisitor shot, um, the Grand Inquisitor, he's talking mm. to somebody on Tatooine. Exactly. So it might just be that person. I'm it could be. be able to, I'm not going to be able to hit it, am I? In, in hunting for a Jedi. But then there's also a scene later on, which looks like it's the same scene. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. but I mean, the dialogue and the what they're what we're seeing could all be different. Passion. If it's not a Jedi, it's someone with information about a Jedi, right? And she clearly is looking for anybody that may know it. And Owen's there. And um, spoiler alert: he does not get killed. He doesn't get killed, this. but I definitely <laughs> think that this is why. Like, this is why Owen is so pissy with Obi Wan being around. 
because he thinks maybe they're tracking Obi-Wan or that whoever yeah. they're tracking, it's bringing them in the vicinity of Luke and them. And it's putting them yeah. in danger just by proxy because they can sense people. They can sense force sensitives because that's their job. So I... keep them away and, you know, Obi-Wan should be going away. And so I feel like this is when he's like, no, Ben, you need to GTFO because you're <laughs> causing more problems by being here. We, uh, I, I really like his outfit. Yeah. Owens, because they made it look more like something he would wear and like distance himself a little bit from his Jedi garb, yeah. which at the time wasn't Jedi garb. Still a bit like of a tunic like, going, but it's fine. Like yeah. it's, yeah. But they're kind of like, like a farmer and a farmer going to market. Yeah. And, uh, but there's, but I, yeah, I just like that they're, they're they're altering his clothes so he doesn't look isn't dressed like yeah so anyway um leaves a trail do we think do we think that this is something that's happened in let's say Mos Eisley and that's why he's shy about going into the big city and why he sort of discourages Luke from going to the big city sort of thing because could be you know, the more people are around, the more likely that you're going to get seen or spotted or discovered. So let's go be country bumpkins, live out in the sticks. The closest thing that we go to is the small town of Anchorhead sort of thing. Yeah. I could take you as far as Anchorhead. Yeah. Um, all right. Are you, are you, uh, how are you on your Arabesh? I mean, I've got some on my arm, but yeah. I, I'm not fluent. I'm not. I like. I can. I think that's a T and an M. Maybe I don't know. I'd need to Trademark? check. But <laughs> trademark. Maybe, maybe. I heard someone saying. I don't know if it was a joke or not. That the next one that we see in the wider shot uh, says milk, which is great. Um, oh, what color is the sign? That one. I I think someone said that that was milk, but I don't know for sure. Okay, so Fett says the sign oh, says, says ER. Okay. Oh, so maybe it is. Maybe she's on top of a hospital. <laughs> Could be. Uh, <laughs> this is not Coruscant, right? Is what I'm hearing. I think okay. this is a new planet. Um, yeah. Yeah. I like it though. I really like the look of it. Yeah, it's not as like the skyscrapers don't look as tall doesn't look as tall but it looks seedy it looks i love the like the neon and everything i think it's a cool look it's a cool look yeah looks a little matrixy to me matrixy bit batmany like it's yeah <laughs> batmany batmany um yeah cool yeah. i'm all for new planets and Always. like the fact that there was there's uh one planet that's one big city i'm glad to see that there's other planets with mm -hmm. smaller cities like mm -hmm. it's it's like corelia has got a few big cities uh like narshad has yeah. got a few big cities things like that so it's like there are other places and you know there are gonna be i don't think so are we gonna I run think... into a tiny are we gonna run into alden airmark <laughs> de-aged alden airmark um i mean I, I i would like to see white worms we want oh we want to run into chewy just because they seem so, they seem so friendly at the bar. I think it's just because they're friendly guys. Like I feel yeah, like so. Obi Wan, Obi Wan fits into any bar. We've always seen him <laughs> be quite relaxed in a bar atmosphere. And Chewie's just Chewie. Everyone loves Chewie. Everybody. Okay, so this is probably when the Grand Inquisitor shows up. It is probably Tatooine. And um, oh, but see, okay. So here's the thing. The way they cut these things, mm -hmm. this is clearly right in the smack dab in the middle of a town. And then this shot right. is out in like an open desert. Yeah. So these I shots don't, don't the correlate. Same. They're not the same shot. So this, so this is the Grand Inquisitor showing up here. Uh -huh. uh, and yeah, it looks like that same ship. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, this is the concept art that we saw, I want to say, last year uh, with the wings folded up and everything. Uh, I like it. A lot of people have drawn the comparison to Krennic's shuttle uh, as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, which right. I think it's great. I think between like Krennic shuttle, Inquisitors, um, ships, and things like that, and then also the Knights of Ren, 
I feel like there is a, a through line there. It's very cool. Right. Cool looking. <laughs> Jay just popped in, says hit that like button, people. Yeah, absolutely. It helps us out. Um, supposedly. Food is like an it. So, uh, officer? Yep. Uh, her, officer. her badge doesn't look like it's very very big. So maybe a lower level officer? Maybe. It just looked like it was like four red rectangles. Yeah. Uh, did to do what's her name. Oh, and a green one. Yeah. So whatever just, that is. I've just yeah. pulled up the, the cast list. I didn't realize that uh, O'Shea Jackson Jr., Ice Cube's son, is in this show. Yeah, and Kumail. That's, yeah, Kumail's in there. I've got a theory of who Kumail is. Me too. Um, it, but, me too. yeah, having O'Shea in there is awesome. Okay. So here's the here's the little Yeah, the things. tentacles, I guess. Tentacles. Yeah. Look at these people. Yeah, I love that They're hat. Too bright for Star Wars. No, they look great. <laughs> no, they look great. This is straight up Blade Runner. I like the yeah. hairstyles. The stormtroopers. Blade Runner is the perfect comparison for this planet. Like this is yeah. this is Star Wars Blade Runner. I am yeah. here for it. Even look at that stormtrooper in the back. Looks like he's at the sushi place or the noodle he place. Bit. He's definitely lit up by it. Too. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Love it. Dig it. He cannot. That looks and like then, um, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, but it's probably not. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> but yeah, he's I mean, he's not war. wearing he's not wearing a robes. He's wearing like a short sleeve hoodie. Yeah. So, but still, the hood it, it invokes like an Jedi. image. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I think a lot of people wear hoods. <laughs> it looks like they're in a market. I like that. There looks like a, there's a there's a, a aquarium back there. The Reminds me shots. of shots. Uh, Shots of parallel shots of people walking with something in between them, whether it be a row of trees or a train track or a market stalls, and the cutting between as they might be looking at each other, scoping each other out. It's always cool. And I don't know if uh -huh. that is how this scene is playing in the actual and show. Someone passes in front of the person and they disappear. Yeah. Um, like yeah. it's they do a great one in one of the Mission Impossible movies, uh, in Paris, I think it is. Um, it's always good. It's it always I always like it. And whether it's only cut that way for this trailer or if it's actually playing out that way, because um, I don't think we see Obi Wan in the background of the shot where we see the Inquisitor walking in a similar way. Mm. Oh, so um, he might be stalking her. He might be. That's what I'm thinking. He's like so. It the way it's shot is it looks like she's looking through the stool at him and he's looking back at her. But I don't think that is actually how it's going to play out. He cannot help it. But it's cool. Uh, so that yeah. robot. That, yeah, I think that's Camille. I think that's Camille. I feel like with, with Matt Berry mm -hmm. as a, as a not EV99. And uh, um, what's his name? Is Triple Zero? Is it Triple Zero? Yeah, not Triple Zero. That's a, a comic thing. As the, um, the droid in Mandalorian as well uh, from the <laughs> IT crowd. Uh, they, they definitely put comedic uh, uh actors as their droid characters um it's cool right i don't know if you saw what mark said here a friend of friend's wife who was in the series as a background background character that they had to reshoot a scene a lot because o'shea jackson kept saying dude fantastic leave it in leave it in i would be fine with dude in star wars i mean like uh, because because the dude really derived from like westerns yeah, like it was like cowboys used to be called dude, mm -hmm. um, yeah. and Star Wars is a western, so yep. I say leave it in. What am I looking at there? A scanner of some sort. It looked like. I mean, it looked like a a supermarket self checkout sort of gun. Um, it's a stormtrooper's butt. Yeah. Is it a baton? It could be, or is that the droid? Oh, it's butt? the droid's butt. I think it's the droid butt. Is that droid gonna knock out that stormtrooper? Has he got like a bat on or something that he's just flicking into his hand? It looks like a hammer. I don't know what it is. I think, I think it might be something that he's gonna bludgeon that stormtrooper <laughs> with. Cool. But the stormtrooper oh. also st isn't stood in front of him in that shot, so who knows? But look at those legs. It looks like it's a suit. So I yeah. wonder if the droid I think is it might be in CG. I think it or might a mix be of both, just like um, different editing, like 
like uh, L3. Mm. Interesting. So I feel like there's room for a, a head in those shoulders mm. or in that neck. The face in the neck, the yeah. Neck mm. Height-wise, that would make sense. Mm, that'd be fun. Okay. Corbett Parkour. Yeah, Parkour. Yeah. Star Wars is now is constant. He? There we go. I looks so, cool there. He looks way better in this shot, and that's what I'm saying. Like, it's, so let me. Yeah. So the first shot, it was from a lower angle looking up. This is kind of more up looking down. It's still round. Mm -hmm. I learned that when I was a little kid. What round but it, is? But it looks <laughs> but taller. It looks better. It, it looks, looks better, taller. Um, it looks better. Just being lit by a lightsaber in the dark, which is where we've yeah. seen him predominantly. Um. I think that adds a lot to it. So that, that red glow and it makes the eyes look darker. The head looks more prominent. Uh, I think it looks a lot better here. And that's why I think when we see him more in action, this is what we're going to get. And we also get the spinning lightsaber, which is, it's cool. It's, it is what it is. Are they going to fly? I think, I don't think they're going to fly with the lightsaber, but I would not be surprised if we see them jump off of something and have it spinning above them okay. as they like slowly maybe descend. I don't think okay. we're going to see them take off. And he looks like he's going after a Lobot type of guy. Uh, a Lobot type of guy or a Tamara Morrison type of guy. Um, really? I don't think oh, so. But... Oh, 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 oh. So like a clone. A clone. I was like, Boba Fett, really? Are you going to do this? No, 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 no. no. A clone, um, potentially like a maybe a, a Cody or a, not a Rex, but <laughs> someone. You just say they need the helicopter <laughs> around. I mean, I like the helicopter lightsabers, but I, I think we'll get an ode to it. I think we'll get them like slowly descending. Uh, Fett says, "Screen Crush speculated this Obi Wan. Uh, it's Obi Wan in disguise as a trooper." Um. I think it would be. I mean, listen. I'm. I, I kind of would like to see the clone, the Clone Wars version of Obi Wan, a live think, action version of the armor I with the trooper shoulders. Yeah, so I think so too. I think my wild speculation is that we are going to get a young, like a de aged Hayden, a de aged Ewan, and a younger, whether it be a de aged. Um, uh, What's her name? Uh, an Ahsoka. I think Ahsoka is going to be in this show as well. I feel like, I feel like this is where you put Ashley Eckstein. That so be she could be cast. She could be cast as the younger Clone Wars version of Ahsoka, and then she grows and up. Rosario plays the older post Rebels one. Maybe I feel like I feel like that would be the best of both worlds. I feel like because we have prequel actors like it's Alec Guinness and and Ewan McGregor yeah it's I, Alden Ehrenreich and Harrison Ford it's I Ashley Eckstein and Rosario Dawson Maybe. I feel like you can do it I feel I like guess. why not yeah it'll people would go fucking bonkers on both people sides go, people would go nuts yeah yeah they really would. if she's it, if she's in the series I think it would be more fun to do that than to just DH, Give her a different part. DH yeah. Rosario Dawson. I don't know how they'll do it, but I do think somehow we are going to see yeah. her. And I think, yeah, I think, uh, Mark, you're going to be pleased. I really, really do think we're going to get some Clone Wars flashbacks. Especially um, if this is the only Obi Wan series yeah, we get. Exactly. And I think we're going to see Obi Wan with the shoulder pads all over his robes. I think we're going to see Anakin in his full Clone Wars gear. Um, I'm that I'm I'm very excited for. I think that'd be really cool. Man. Something for a backdrop on this episode. Love that shot. Love the neon. That's neat. I it's really dig cool. it. He looks yeah. crazy. Yeah, a lot of people again, that's the other one that people are nitpicking because he doesn't look he, the same as he does in Rebels, but he you don't know, he like... might get messed up in this and like need to change his look a little bit for Rebels. It's a few years later. He looks like um, Island of Dr. Moreau. I've never seen it. <laughs> you, have you ever seen the? You haven't seen yeah. the. Uh, I know it. Uh, I know of uh, it. But... What's his name? Marlon Brando yeah, with Brando. the white face and the wraps yeah. around his head. Is that a thing? 
Um, <laughs> and he looks he looks like he's about to go and fuck some shit up. Yeah. Yeah, everybody wants Clone Wars flashbacks. Like, I'm not the biggest Clone Wars fan, but I want to see it. Yeah, exactly. It's, I want to see it. It'll be the Clone Wars, like, and it'll be something that we've not seen in Clone Wars before. They're not going to recreate a scene. It'll be a new scene that is contextually <laughs> relevant for this. We're going to find out. Maybe we that... see the Grand Inquisitor just as a guard. Yeah. As, a, as a guard yeah. at the palace. That would be interesting. There's going to be some news story speculating that Dave Filoni directed one episode of, <laughs> of Obi-Wan Kenobi and we're all going to know it's the Which it's one? this Clone Wars flashback episode. Yeah. It's going to happen. Yeah. All right. Let's see. These, what are these? Two transports? They look like two, not transports. Um, escape pods. Escape pods. So They look a lot like Obi-Wan in escape- one. And who's in the other? This is their escape from their are battle they, with Vader, their uh, Clone Wars. Maybe. Or is, is it Ahsoka is, and Obi Wan? Is it? Is this a Clone Wars flashback? Is this? Yeah. Um, is it Obi Wan in one, and then an Inquisitor in the other one? Because that's the easiest way to chase him is to just they, launch in the same direction. They kind of look similar to Yoda's. Pod. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, Yoda's one from yeah. the end of Revenge of the Sith. Is that which in we know movie? can land? Yeah. Or is that a deleted scene? It's in the movie. I think. Yeah, we see him launch from Kashyyyk. There was a deleted scene where he lands on Dagobah, right? Yeah, it's yeah. nuts. Yeah, oh, I can't that's... believe they didn't use that. There needs. They. Yeah, I feel like a four-hour cut of Revenge of the Sith with all the Rebel I mean, Alliance building yeah. stuff. With oh yeah. boy, Scott. <laughs> Scott D's here. <laughs> Everybody, are you? <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna get hello there trending again. <laughs> in, yeah, <laughs> it's it's baked in. It's it's like the obvious thing. It's yeah. it's baked into this series. Do you think he'll say it in the series? Yeah. What if the show they don't say it, and at the very last line of the show is goodbye there. <laughs> And there's a slide whistle sound, and the op and the op farts, and then they announce that they are never making any more Star Wars again because the oh, internet God. has just burnt them all to shreds. Um, the amount of Star Wars we uh, have right now, I think I'd be fine with it if that was the very. If end that's of how they Star went Wars. out, yeah, it, like, like they just so troll much, everyone. There's so much to love, so much to enjoy, and I would probably get into Clone Wars more. Uh, if there were no more Star Wars as of now, <laughs> <laughs> because like I, I really, I really made it through the dark times. On does it does it Iris out walks. with the slide whistle? It Iris is out, and then it's just oh, like. Yeah. But then Iris back in a little bit with Jar Jar winking with, at with the with camera little, with little Luke with a deep fake Mark Hamill face. Ain't I a stinker? <laughs> And then, Direct, and then no, directed by no, no, Ryan no, Johnson. It. No, 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 no. I'm changing it all. Everybody's Force Ghost. Uh, 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 Nick Nolte, the Ugnat is there. He yep, says, This is Ugnati. the way, or I've spoken. And Admiral Akbar says, It's a trap. All of everyone, everyone gets their catchphrase instead of the helmets at the beginning. We just get the catchphrases at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, kids. <laughs> this is what happens when we go over an hour, folks. We get loopy. <laughs> oh shit, we are over an hour, and we got so much more to watch. All right, there we go. So this Tatooine is that raid. This oh, I feel like I is like that, that same. Hole. Yeah, yeah. So they don't all have the rounded one. That's interesting. No. Um. Mm. So this I feel like it's that same marketplace. I feel like it's almost like she blocks this, and then he turns around, and the Grand Inquisitors. Stood there. I think this this might be the guy hanging. I think that's quite likely. I think mm. this is a Jedi on the run. But who is it? We don't know. Someone but who I mean, like... knows who Obi Wan is and where he is potentially. Mm. He's maybe looking for Obi Wan. Do we know what this is? No idea. This. Oh, I guess it says seven seven down there. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah. I'm starting. I understood that. I've heard things about this. This is apparently Obi Wan, right? Apparently, apparently, I mean, like we can't tell from there because you can't see a head. 
But but the blaster? The blaster? Sure, why not? Uncivilized? Yeah, but it doesn't but mean if you're, if you're, if you're not, if, Yeah, if you're not going to be... It's clumsy, it's random, he doesn't hit anyone. <laughs> Yummy. Um, <laughs> the, uh, but I mean, I guess if you're going to fight and say your claim you're not a Jedi, you probably aren't busting You're not going to bust out a lightsaber? No, of course you're not. I don't even think even though the EW him. cover has a lightsaber ignited. Well, yeah, he's going to. We know he's going to fight with Vader. But here, like, if you watch this shot, he doesn't hit anyone. He fires off a couple of shots, but he doesn't hit anything because he's crap with a blaster. Um, like the parrots. <laughs> is he? Is he squatted behind a parrot bowl or something? Like, I think he must be. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty weird. <laughs> um, I like it though. I like it's, it's it's interesting. It's very John Woo. <laughs> oh, dude! <laughs> Jumping in slow mo while holding two guns. Oh, hell yeah! Just or give me the the Michael, uh, not Michael Bay, the um, Jerry Bruckheimer gun twirl. <laughs> and there it is. is. There he is. Obi Wan Kenobi. Guy. I know who you are. <clears throat> okay. Who do you Can think he, is? He is he looking up at anyone? Is he talking to anyone? He's tired. He looks so tired. So we've all right. We've we've gone through. Oh, the he looks like maybe he's. I see what you're saying. He's yeah. looking over like somebody or something. He's talking to him. Maybe there's maybe he's looking at footsteps that aren't single file. Maybe maybe. So all right, we've covered the visuals. Except we've one gone thing. Over... Hold on. Oh, one thing. Oh, yeah. Wait, there's, there's one more thing. Okay, this. When I created our data link logo, mm -hmm. for some reason I put a scomp link in it and I'm like, why am I doing this? I hate, hate when they replace oh, a letter with an object. Oh, they have and them using the lightsaber as the eye is so uh -huh. dorky. Yeah. And I feel like for this series, like, I don't like it. Not I don't for this. like it. No. Yeah. No. I do like that it's Obi-Wan's lightsaber. It's sure. accurate. Yeah. But it's really silly it's really silly but what i do like is this the, lightsaber. the logo yes i completely agree yes the Wicked. blue lightsaber it's great yeah. all right I, i'm gonna go ahead and take this down yeah so we've we've gone through all the visuals um right pretty extensively yeah let's talk about music um love 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 the use of uh battle of the heroes first and foremost mm -hmm. jewel of the fates I, I it's the hype moment it kicks in it's not their theme it really like it's it's obi-wan and maul fine maul fine mm -hmm. um but it's not it was, I, it was really set up more as maul's theme because it of was the, very much maul's the theme. chanting was used as whispers earlier mm -hmm. but okay fine people um, it's it's iconic it's yeah it's, and it puts it's you in that thing... 1999 frame of mind too and and it's hype it's it's an amazing amazing tune um but yeah the the more theme is is jewel of the fates uh but i understand mm -hmm. why they'd use it i like that it transitioned back into battle of the heroes as we were getting near the mm -hmm. end and we get the vader breathing um and, but uh, again and apparently the force theme yeah the force themes in there uh, and then apparently there is the Ahsoka theme in there, which makes me think like that lends credence to Ahsoka being in there. Um, I can't pick it out. I don't know it well enough. I don't know, I know it. it yeah. But it is apparently it's in there. Um, Jewel of the Fates, yeah, Fetz mentions here, Jewel of the Fates was reprised for a bit of that battle. It's in there. I think there's elements of it in Battle of the Heroes, I think, mm -hmm. or it's it's used, I think, in their fight. But Sure. And I mean, it's used on Tatooine in Attack mm. of the Clones as well, but yeah. Um, so yeah, they do have a good Obi-Wan saver at Disneyland. I did a um, review on it last Sunday. Did indeed. Um, it's go like check my out third that live action Star Wars show in a week. The last week. Yeah, it's cool. Um, but we'll, we'll see with that. Uh, I'm excited to see what new themes we get. Because uh, we didn't get anything new, I don't think. Especially honest. what Williams has cooking up. I'm exactly. assuming what I'm going to assume, this is my prediction on 
the 4th of May, we will get a drop of Obi-Wan's theme. Interesting. That'll hype yeah. up the show, which will be a couple weeks later. The, the next and, trailer, the next and final trailer sort of thing, I think, maybe. Or, or yeah, we'll get a trailer yeah. with, uh, with the new that music. theme in it. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'm excited about that. Yeah. I'm excited about a more classic Star Wars. Listen, Ludwig Gorsen has been doing a great job. Absolutely. But I do, I do miss classic Star Williams. Wars music. Of course. Yeah. Absolutely. I agree. Um, yeah. And where this is very different from that side of the star wars tv like this is more like you know the prequel movies into the original trilogy it's it would be nice to have yeah. some musical themes linking the two uh which is is cool um dialogue wise kind of really don't get much we get obi-wan saying you know the battle is over we lost it's That's- a previously on it is. It's but that yeah, feels Star very Wars. much like him. He's resigned. Like he's like, I'm in hiding. I am not a Jedi right now. Like, my I'm I'm gonna keep an eye on the kid because that's what I swore to do. Because like I feel duty bound to it. And I feel yeah. like it will be that duty that makes him leave because he thinks that that is the best way that he can protect Luke is by leaving. And maybe if that means like distracting inquisitors or whatever um Mm -hmm. we'll see i think when he's talking when he says those lines in the show the the battle is lost uh the battle is done we lost i think he's talking to bail organa Mm. i think because i think that it's been confirmed or heavily heavily rumored at least that he (laughs) pops up in this and that would yeah. make sense as someone who's like, look, come on, dude, we lost. I can't join this your fight. I can't join your rebellion right now. Like if he if he talks to Bail Organa, do we get a second shot at a DH Princess Leia? I think so. I think we're getting both twins. Yeah. Um Oh, she would be real young. Mm-hmm. She'd be the same age as Luke. Luke's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um Okay, I'm all for it because you can I, just cast somebody else. Exactly. I th- yeah, yeah, you're not you're not going to de age her. I think we're going to get a young Leia. I think we're getting both twins. I feel like that would be part of the reason because he's like, well, shit. If they if they've got this close to Luke, like they don't know about Luke. Luke's safe, but they got close. <laughs> they're nearby. I need to check in and make sure that they're not that close to Leia because she's in a like... much much more prominent position in the galaxy. I feel like Luke looks like he's about. Nine? Maybe eight years away from where we are in Star Wars. So depending on when that shot is, if it takes place at the beginning of the show, that makes sense because mm. it'll give us time to have Obi Wan and Luke I age to Episode Four. So I think I think the, the show, they, they, the fact that they put it in the trailer leads me to believe it's pretty early on. I think so. I think that's that's the opening mm. like episode or half an episode or whatever. Uh, I think the mm. show ends with him getting back to tattooing, going back and that's when we'll see him in okay. his house yeah i don't think he's going to be in his house for most of this like his little his obi-wan's hut i think that he maybe buys that at the end or something do we get a, a shot inside the box with the lightsaber putting it by away wrapping it up putting it away or something yeah be cool but i mean or dude, just looking I... at it like looking at it because he now knows what anakin has become he's fought him again since Qui Gon, I think we'll see Qui Gon too. Because we have to, we have to, we don't have to, but there's a gap that needs to be filled between Episode Three mentioning Qui Gon and then Episode Four where he becomes one with the Force. So, it, oh man, it there's, I you know I'm not huge into cameos and stuff, but I feel like there's so many characters that need to serve this story, Mm -hmm. and so I I don't want Mace Windu because I don't feel like that really matters. And but we've already Qui-Gon, said that we don't, we don't want Maul. I don't want Maul in this. No. Um, but I feel like Bail Organa, obviously Owen. Bail, and, Owen, um, Qui-Gon. Qui-Gon. I think Qui-Gon's a great shout. And then if you're going to have if you're going to have Hayden Christensen, mm-hmm. then Ahsoka. Ahsoka. But that's so tied. But other exactly. than that, so, I'm not really looking for anybody else. Well, like background Jedi, sure. If we get flashbacks to the temple, they can be background Jedi. That's fine. I don't mind that. Yeah. Um, if we get a little kid Biggs and Tank, that's fine. 
Yeah, Biggs, great. Hope so. Um, little mustache. <laughs> just just coming in. His little sleeve yeah. tash. Um, yeah. I, I'd be fine with that. He'd be, what, if he's a few years older than Luke, he could be, like, 12, 13 years old. Scott D. Yeah. I don't... No, I don't want it. But Maul wielding a dark saber, though? I don't think he has it at that point. I only, I think... I only noticed the oh, Maul part. Does he end up with the dark saber? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maul, Maul oh, has the dark saber. And then I think... Yeah, he has the dark saber at the end of the Clone Wars, and then I believe Sabine steals it from him. She just yoinks it out of his place or something. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, and then, yeah, we get like Inquisitors talking about hunting Jedi because they can't help themselves. Mm. They will always... So basically, it seems like one of their tactics to lure Jedi out is to just start being dicks to people. And then when they think that there is a Jedi nearby because they can't help but get involved and be goody two-shoes. And I feel like that's what Obi-Wan is... He's trying his hardest to not get involved. Right. Every time, every time that. he gets out, they drag me back in, sort of situation. Yeah. And his uncle and and Owen mm-hmm. thought he shouldn't get involved. Yeah. So right. Go full, follow Obi Wan on some damn foolish crusade. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe maybe we see Obi Wan go off on some damn foolish crusade in this. Maybe. 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 Yeah, I want to know what those escape pods are. They're interesting because they definitely look like escape pods to me. Right, and they put that shot in like it's a real quick shot. Mm. Why is mm. it important? Or are they just trying to it, throw us it off the scent of something else? Could be such a nothing shot from a Clone Wars flashback. Right. Um, like I'd like to see the three of them in their ships doing some space combat. Maybe they're having a conversation. That feels like it would be an easier way of de-aging them is because you only need to animate the face. Just have them in their cockpits flying and talking to each other. You don't even need mm-hmm. to have Ahsoka then. You could just have Ashley Eckstein do the voice or something. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Um, I don't I think, think I have th- anything else. I don't think so. If I'm, we're back in a week to do a data link episode, so if there is anything yeah. else, I feel like we can come back. Then we will have a week to have sat with it. Obviously, yeah, watched it everybody. A few more times. I mean, this isn't going up on audio because it's a bonus episode. Mm-hmm. But um, everyone here, thanks for joining us. Uh, I feel like uh, join us next week for data link. We're going to have Rick Demint here talking about his time fresh off of the Galactic Star Cruiser at uh, Walt Disney World and. This is what I want. I want yeah. more interaction, more people. conversation, yeah. free flow chat. <laughs> right. And yeah, let's let's get some Taco Bell cups for this season. Oh, dude. Oh, we didn't even bring up Watto. Now I don't really want him. I, I uh, keep saying that. I, I'd be I've fine been with saying that. this whole time. I've been wanting Watto to show up. Um, I feel like the Inquisitors can probably rough him up a little. Yeah. Maybe we see the end of Watto. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Because like, Vader's told him, like, go and speak to this guy. He was a prick. He might know someone. <laughs> um, God damn it. Oh. You hit it at the same time I did. Yeah. Yeah. It's, huh? it's there. <laughs> um, I mean, you guys are here. You all know the, the score. Um, all of this stuff. Visit us, a, visit us at liveactionstarwars.com and all this good stuff. Leave us a, leave us a review on on uh, iTunes, on yeah. Apple Podcasts. Um, I feel like... Yeah, we tell we tell all the audio listeners to go and subscribe on YouTube, but if all the regular viewers go and subscribe on Apple Podcasts as well, that'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I think that's it. I think that's all I've got. Um, thanks again for joining us. See us this Wednesday on data link. Join mm-hmm. us, join the conversation. If you have any questions about uh, the galactic star cruiser. Yeah. First hand experience, Rick. not from us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. We will so, feed it. Yeah. And that's, that's all she wrote. That's it. Um, yeah. So uh, goodbye there, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Come on, Ralph. You know what we say. I know, Don't I give know. in to hate. I know. I know. This is the way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I have spoken. Celebrate the love. Punch it.